from today i'm switching to the long format for daily updates the expiry was kind of a no event reliance industries started up but then it went down but more or less most of the stocks were range bound not too much happening i thought fis will sell our FIs probably bought the most in last few months to my memory. They bought 7,300 crores worth of stocks net. Total purchase part was 23,000 crores. The rest was obviously sell. So net was 7,300. EIS 2 did a significant buying. Total volumes today were close to $1.3 billion worth of institutional buying. Huge numbers. Retail investors who were kind of sellers today, they would tomorrow probably kick themselves. In the bigger scheme of things, El Nino seems to be creeping in now finally. There are reports of huge water shortages from southern India already. Brace for 10, 15, 20% kind of deficit rainfall throughout the country, which could mean droughts. This could have a huge impact on certain crops. One good news that came in today was a DA hike by 4%. It will cheer up the government employees a little bit, put some extra money in their hands, which could obviously mean slightly more spending to spruce up the economy a bit right towards the end, just before the elections. SEBI has really, really found something wrong with JM Financial and today also they have come with even more stricter punishments. JM Financial was up a bit today. Tomorrow it will probably hit another lower circuit based upon the bans that SEBI have put in today. I am not here judging the right or wrong part of the situation. They may be totally wrong. However, this action suddenly in a week's time over two or three NBFCs has created huge waves of panic in the entire NBFC space. The country does need NBFCs. Banks do not cover URCs or urban rural centers. NBFCs run the rural India. SEBI might be doing the right job as per its KRAs. However, that may not be the best thing for the country in my opinion. Tomorrow, Indian markets are closed. So I'm not putting any forecast for India for tomorrow. I'll probably send another update before the Monday market opens. Tomorrow, US is expecting employment data to come in. Everyone is watching it. Even oil has cooled down a bit, waiting for directions from the Fed. It is a big event. I don't frankly know what will happen. The employment data probably will be bad this time because of a lot of firing which has happened off late. Or maybe on the neutral side, not too much up or down. If the job data is good, then that will lead to inflation, which means interest rates will not calm down and there will be lesser chances of rate cuts. This is the correlation typically. 12th March is the big event next week. Both India and US will release the CPI data on the same day after the closure of Indian markets, mostly India CPI and then US later in the night. If any of these data is bad, then next day could be mayhem. Overall US markets, Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, they are right now in a reasonably green zone. Not too much up, not too much down. Slightly positive bias. Today also mostly that will continue. In India, I took certain positions in certain NBFCs yesterday, JM Financial, IFL Finance and Aditya Birla Capital. All three positions turned green today. Tomorrow will probably erase all the gains. Maybe I should have booked the profits today.